Hey guys, welcome back to Makeup Monday. Today's video, as you can see by the title, is a it's a pretty colorful look. Pretty colorful. I wanted to sit down and play with these palettes that I ordered from ColourPop, you guys. I know that ColourPop comes out with things like every Friday. I am very well aware of that. But when I saw these two palettes, there was just something about them that drew me into them and I ordered them. This is the only thing that I ordered from the Frozen 2 collection. I believe this is obviously like a collaboration with ColourPop and Frozen to celebrate Frozen 2. If you guys have seen it, let me know in the comment section down below if you love it. I haven't seen it yet, so don't spoil it for me. I'm probably going to go this week and take my daughter to watch it. Anyway, so I decided to order them because, again, they just look so pretty. So I only got the palette. This is the Anna palette, which, hello, like, this just screams warm tone and yumminess, and it's so pretty. And I also bought the Elsa palette, which this one as well just screamed winter for me. So because today is December 1st, and even though this video is not going to go up until December 2nd, I just wanted to kind of like celebrate uh, winter, Christmas, December, and everything by creating a very winter-esque look using the Frozen 2 on a palette, or Elsa palette, sorry. This palette is just absolutely stunning, and this is the look that I created. Very pretty blue with purple, and I added um, a little bit of glitter to the eyes. Hello, like snowflakes. And actually, because I live in Utah, guys, oh my god, we've been getting so much snow. Like, my backyard is covered in snow. My front yard, everywhere we have so much snow, which I personally like because I don't drive a lot. My husband does the driving, so I just get to enjoy and see the pretty snow. I don't want to ramble on too much into this video. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. This is just an eye tutorial. I will bring back the full face beats within like the next week or so. Um, I wanted to tell you guys something. Oh, also this video is going to be a voiceover because I am getting a little bit better. I don't know if you guys can tell. But my voice was really bad all like Thanksgiving break. I was just super sick. I couldn't talk and any talking that I did really hurt my throat. So it feels a lot better but I just didn't want to push it and sit here for too long and um, talk and talk and talk because I tend to do that. So we are going to be doing a voiceover and yeah that is it you guys. I hope you guys enjoy this winter wonderland winter makeup look I hope you guys recreate it and let's go ahead and jump right into this video Starting off with the base, I'm taking my e.l.f. Camel Concealer. This one is a little too light for me, so I've been using it as a primer, and it really works. It's full coverage, and it does dry down a little bit, so it just makes it so much easier to work with. I do like to blend that out with a little brush. We're going to jump into the Elsa palette. Now I'm going to take the shade Spindrift. I believe that's what it is is called i the words are really hard to see but i like to pack on the colors first this is the only color that we're going to really throw in into the crease the others are going to be just blended but i like to really pack it on by packing on the deepest shade that you're going to use this is really going to intensify it i'm going to move on to a fluffier <laughs> brush to start blending this is the morphe m514 i believe and i'm just doing windshield wiper motions and just blending 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 you guys know that is the trick to a bomb look is to keep on blending and when you think you've blended go back and just blend some more <laughs> Now I'm going to move on to the second shade. This one is the lightest shade in the palette, and this one is called Fire. This one is just going to help us further blend that burgundy, which now looks purple. It's a really pretty color, but I just wish it would have stayed more burgundy than purple. I'm going to go back with my e.l.f. Camel Concealer and apply it to the lash line almost. And what I like to do is I like to look up and then look sideways. That way I know where my crease is because I do have like extra skin on my eyelids it's like saggy so I do like to take this extra step to make sure that my crease is nice and sharp 
once you've done that you want to go back with a flat brush whatever you have and then just make sure that you cut the crease even more to make it look really sharp and clean and you have a nice layout for the next shade all over the lid i'm going to take the shade water oh my god this is literally what sold me this palette this shade right here sold me this palette it is so beautiful it's a very unique blue it's a very elsa very frozen very winter-esque i just absolutely love the shade and of course i'm gonna go off or go back with spindrift and just apply that to the outer corners of the eyes to create that nice grading effects and then all over the lid i just took that glittery shade which is called flurry it's a really pretty oh my god i was obsessed with this glitter i didn't use any glitter glue all i did was wet my brush and just applied it on the top because i really wanted this to look like snowflakes all over the eyes very sparkly it is very chunky so just be a little bit careful now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back into that uh, spindrift shade and i'm going to as you can see i just mainly concentrate that in the crease where we cut the crease to make it look nice and sharp this is literally the key to it going back again with that same burgundy shade and we're just going to blow out the lower lash line this is going to make us look nice and like put together and it's going to match the eyes and oh i just i love this look let me know if you guys are feeling this look so far but i really liked it i think it's perfect for christmas not well maybe it's, yeah you can use it for christmas i guess but for me that i live in utah we have so much snow like i literally just want to be wearing blue and white and all these pretty colors because it just reminds me of the fluffy snow that we have here i'm gonna go off camera and apply some lashes once you have that on you just want to apply your lipstick i went in with this huda beauty lipstick because i didn't want to overpower the lips since the eyes are so bold you have blues and you have a little bit of a purple so i really kept it nice and simple and nude on the lips and that is it you guys that is a quick and simple winter look using the frozen palettes i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you for watching i'll see you next time